My name is Elspeth Tori. I'm project manager for animation on Assassin's Creed. Our main character, Altair, has well over 12,000 animations, which is pretty impressive. And one thing that people are going to see right off the bat is how fluid everything is. We wanted to uh, put the character, Altair, in this very, very realistic setting. So in order to do that, we needed to create tons and tons of animations that fit each context, everything he's going to do, because Altair can do basically anything. He can climb, he can run, he can jump, uh, he swoops in on his targets, so we needed to create contextual animations for all of these moves. Then you also have the crowd. We have hundreds of characters that are milling about through all of our three different cities that have completely different looks, different clothing, hairstyles, everything, but on top of that we wanted to uh, create characters that looked different and real and that didn't all look like a bunch of zombies walking through a, a crowd. Each different kind of person will have different sets of idle animations, different little movements, little quirks about them that are, that are really neat. The sheer quantity of animation on this I, I think is I don't know if it's unrivaled, but it's pretty darn close, I'm sure. Just the, the quantity of animations we had, and also the amount of stuff that was done by hand. At the beginning, we started looking into technologies to see, you know, was the stuff at the level we needed it to be at to go ahead and do a lot of procedural animations. And in the end, we felt that to get the quality that we were looking for, we would do a lot of the transitions. A lot of the stuff um, was done straight by the animators and not by the computer. Uh, it wasn't automatically generated. So you're going to see the artistry in his movement, and I think that's where you get that special touch. The fact that he does look so fluid and so, um, I don't know, realistic and, and easy uh, when he moves through all of uh, the environments. We don't have video footage of what it would have been like in 1191, so you have to sort of put yourself literally in their shoes and imagine what it would have been like to fight with these heavy swords and heavy armor. So when you go into that mocap studio, you know, you have to do a lot of takes and kind of work it out as you go along. So for the combat animations, we wanted to create a style that wasn't necessarily a trained, specific style of combat. We wanted to give that feeling of like raw medieval violence. So um, in order to do that, we actually got our animators to get into the mocap suits, get out there and act out the moves themselves. And we had our artistic director for animation, Alex Droin, who had some great ideas in terms of how to make these moves look cool, but also not necessarily look like a specific style. You really get that sense that the, uh, your opponents are reacting to you. There's this timing where they're going to go attack you, but if you do a lot of cool counter moves, kill some of their friends, they're going to back off and go defensive. So you really have to adjust your style of combat depending on how they're attacking you and how they react to you. And look for openings where maybe they're weak, maybe they're taunting you, and go in for an attack when you see an opening. Just a few more weeks now and uh, you're going to have it. So uh, really excited for all of you to get the first chance to play this game.